All right, welcome back. So we're going to continue to work off of what we created in the previous video where we just did a basic um, announcement bar and then a navigation bar, okay? And we haven't added any content. We just laid out or designed the top bar and the navigation, okay? And we, and we grabbed that idea from my website, learntechplus.com, all right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the ellipse tool. Okay, so what is an ellipse? Basically, it's a circle tool, okay? So if I select that right here, if I don't, if I just click and drag, it's not gonna be a even circle, so to speak. If I hold shift, then it will proportion it correctly. It'll fix the aspect ratio of the circle. I realize it's not a square, but when I let go of that, it just skews the ellipse or the circle. But if I hold shift, then it's a perfectly beautiful circle. All right. So again, the idea of this is similar to the rectangle tool, but it's, it's used for a different reason. Okay. Um, I'll give you a great example. A perfect use of the ellipse tool would be to add a profile picture. So if you had a profile picture of yourself or of me for this example, what you could do is this could be used for the about page and we could add a border to this. So let's add a border of like five pixels. So go to size right here and then type in five and hit enter. And you're going to see how it kind of fills the ellipse in. Okay. And we're going to be utilizing this as we do the, uh, one of the final projects to this. We're going to be using this again, but I want to show you the, kind of the introduction to this. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a file that you can get from the ellipse resources, which is going to be lecture 27. So you can get this image from there. Um, I have an image of myself that I use on Udemy. Um, it's my profile picture. So let me see if I can find that real quick. Okay, here it is. All right. So I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to go to the desktop here. And you can download this, download this, like I said, in the resources folder. Um, I'll close that out. And then we're going to do file import. Okay. And then we're going to size it to this ellipse. So I'll open that up. Now you'll see there's my lovely mug. And we can kind of position this right in the middle. Okay. And now I'm going to drag, I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to click in the bottom right hand corner and drag this out. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing in the left, upper left hand corner, hold shift and then bring it like that. And the point of doing it this way is when I go here and I curve this in, okay, we can turn it into ellipse. Okay. So let me show you that again. If I undo this, all we're going to do is we're going to go to the upper right hand corner here and click on this little blue dot when I hover over it and drag it all the way down and make it a circle. Okay. And then we're going to drag it down to where it fills in the circle here. Okay. And that's pretty good, but I can see that we have, so if I just nudge with the right and down arrows, okay, we can fill it in there and then we're going to drag here and hold shift and fill it out evenly. Okay. And you'll notice, let's see if we can get, it's pretty good for eyeing it. Okay, let's see. All right, so I have a little bit missing there. So let me hold shift. Let me hit V first, and then I'm going to hold shift and just drag that over. There you go. All right. That looks pretty good. And just on the top, we have a little white space. Not a lot, just a little bit. So I'm going to hold shift and do it there too. Beautiful. Okay, so this is a great way to utilize the ellipse tool, okay? Because, and you can do this with other images. So let's say that you had a couple things of content that you wanted to put in an ellipse. You could utilize this tool for that and then lay it out this way. You know, there's a lot of different things that you can do with this. So we're going to have a lot of fun with this tool as we go through the course. So I'm going to save this and that is the ellipse tool. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.